I wonder if fresh figs are going to cause my blood sugar to spike. Let's find out. Good morning. How y'all doing? It's Cajun Chuck and we're going to do a little experiment today. I'm going to try and find a ripe fig. And then I'm going to eat that fig. I think I have one. No black Madeira. No Tia Pena. That Angelito. Man, that needs to hang more. Long doubts. Don't have one, no doubt. Mm. Nope. Mm, nope. Robert's Golden Rainbows is starting up again. Okay, well. Apparently I missed one. Mm, it's kind of firm. Oh, it's hidden under here. Oh, you see the neck? No, oh, the neck is still firm. That's what it is. Focus. Little deformed, but it'll do. Go ahead and slice open. Good job. Okay, so this one looks all right. So what I'm gonna do is eat this, and then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pop up a little, my current glucose. I have a little glucose monitor. And you'll be able to see what it is, the current glucose. And I'm gonna recheck it in 30 minutes and see how much one fig increases my blood sugar. Mmm, even, even under, that's a really good fig. Nice figgy flavor, great seed crunch, sweet berry. Not overpoweringly sweet, so I don't have a br fancy bricks monitoring system here. Maybe I should get one of those. Hmm. But we'll check and see what the sugar is here shortly. I forgot to tell you I weighed it and it was like 28 grams. Um, so right around approximating uh, 30 grams. That's how much the, the fig weighed. Well, as you can see, one fig did not increase my blood glucose levels all that much. Now, yeah, typically I eat two, three figs. So today was just one, but I'm very happy and I'm very grateful and thankful that I had that one fig. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoy your morning. Have a wonderful day and remember, fig on.